Hello everyone. Welcome back. Please come rate, subscribe, folks. Come rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone who does watch, like, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. It's time to talk about yet another, you know, trade speculation that's going on. And this time it's Robbie Anderson. Should we trade Robbie Anderson? Listen, you look at this situation here. And I kind of understand both arguments. Uh, you know, you look at the people who wanna who wanna trade them, and the first thing they are saying is, you're gonna lose him in free agency anyway. You know, he's not gonna re-sign here. If you know you're gonna lose him, and you know that he's not gonna sign, then guess what? Trade him, get some value now. Get some now. The question is, because I remember last year, um, the Eagles were interested, supposedly. There was rumors out there that they had tried to call, uh, you know, call Mike McCagney, who was our general manager at the time, and say, hey, we want Robbie Anderson. They were willing to give up a third-round pick, but McCagney hung up that phone and said, no, thank you. So you look at him coming into this year, and this offense has looked way worse than it did last year. I mean, you're saying, okay, well, what, what is his value now? Because if it was a third-round pick last year, it definitely ain't a third-round pick now. He's so lost in this offense. Of course, he's had, you know, like that Cowboys game where he had that 92-yard bomb. He looked good. But that's the only game this year where we've seen, like, Robbie really fly, catch the football, get these deep shots. Other than that, it's been, like, next to nothing. And, I mean, we've all been, you know, really kind of surprised at the lack of balls going his way. And also, some plays where he's given up on routes where it just seems like he's just, like, whatever. Because we're just in a... In a horrible situation in the game. So, I don't know exactly what you would get for him at this point. I don't think you would get a third rounder for him. That's for sure. Um, and then the other question is, you know, okay, if you do want to keep him and you don't want to trade him, do you want to overpay him to stay? Because, again, the name of the game in free agency is overpaying. That's what happens. There's a lot of, you know, wide receivers that aren't, you know, that are, aren't in the league of Robbie that get paid big time. Uh, to go to other places. And it's like, do you want to overpay Robbie? Do you think he's a guy that we should pay $10, $11, 12000000 million a year? I don't think he is. Um, I don't, he's definitely not a number one. Um, I think at best, probably maybe a low two, maybe a really good complimentary uh, third wide receiver, a guy that can take the top off the defense, a speedster, because I don't think he's a complete wide receiver. I, don't, I mean, we haven't ever seen him necessarily be a complete wide receiver. He doesn't run like every route in the route tree. This guy is a go guy. You get him the football in his hands as he's streaking down the field and he could put up six. He cooks he cooks some really good corners. You know what I'm saying? He's he, like I said, he's a speedster. But, you know, you looking for anything outside of that, and I don't know if you can call on Robbie. And and that leads me to the people, you know, that look at this situation that are that are against it as well. Uh, they're looking and they're saying, hey, if you trade him we kind of lose the explosion offensively here. Because outside of him, I think the next fastest wide receiver that we might have on this roster is what, Crowder? Crowder might be a guy. But, I mean, he's not like Robbie. He's not ex as ex as explosive as Robbie, you know, especially going down the field. He's a guy that can catch the ball in the middle of the field, and he's got some scoot to him. But Robbie can fly, man. So you're wondering, hey, if you, if you, get, rid of, if you get rid of Robbie and you trade him, you're, you're killing the explosion. It makes defenses, you know, it makes it much easier to defend us. And then also they're looking at the situation and also saying, hey, what about Sam? Uh, Sam has got a lot of uh, chemistry with Robbie. They've worked together for a long time. Are you killing Sam's growth when you take away his targets? You know, even though he's not, things aren't looking good this year, I mean, damn, they, they've connected in the past and been very solid together. Why would you want to get rid of Robbie? So, I don't know, man. I'm looking at the situation for me, and I'm a guy that just, I don't think that we'll be able to keep him. I really don't. I, I think he wants to test free agency. He's already made some tweets <laughs> recently. Go to Rob. Hey, listen, if you don't find me, follow Robbie Anderson. Go to his Twitter. Um, he's hilarious, man. I mean, he tweets a lot of stuff that is just funny. But one of the things that he said, and you know, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but you know, you know, legacy is, is cool and everything, but the money is mandatory. Uh, one of the statements that he said, hey, but the money is mandatory. He thinks money is important. Legacy for him, you know, is, is, is cool. He, he worries about his legacy, but the money is mandatory. That's what he said. So if the money is mandatory, um, that means he wants to get paid. And he might want to get paid 
number one wide receiver money, which is, I don't think he's the number one wide receiver. I don't think any of us think he's the number one wide receiver, especially if you watch the games. So, I think that we should move on from him, just within that instance, uh, when you look at the, the situation from that standpoint. But, you know, again, I don't know exactly what you get for him. If you can't get a third rounder for him, and you end up giving him away for like a fifth or, you know, a low fourth round, something like that, <sighs> It doesn't look bad, but I mean, at least you get something back for him, right? Instead of just losing him in free agency and then that's that. So, comment down below, folks. Let me know what you folks think. Um, again, I, I'm really big on, you know, if we can move him for a third rounder, I'm fine. I don't think we'll get anything higher than a third rounder for him. Um, but if you want to keep Robbie Anderson, let me know. Comment down below. Uh, if you want to move on for him, comment down below as well. Let me hear your arguments too. So, you folks have a good day. Peace.